SRO 702 by 704. This is all the reflow system by ATV Technologies. Now, this system is a standalone system with a process chamber right above the process control module. And the process involves heating and cooling of the chamber using IR lamps. Typically, the profile looks like this, the initial ramp up and then preheat so for a certain duration, 60 to 120 seconds. And then ramp to peak, it, it, is, it is done at a faster rate. And then the final step involves cooling. Uh, this system allows to be able to enter 0 to 9, total 10 recipes and the controls are from here. There is a Pfeiffer turbo molecular pump attached to the system and a labeled uh, mechanical pump and this is the turbo molecular pump controller and the system program the recipe programming is possible from these keys and there's a program lock facility and EMO and these are gas 1 and gas 2 flow meters indicates this dial gauge indicates the chamber pressure level So right now I'm opening the chamber door. This is the surface where the sample will be placed. And these four clips here at the four corners, they are detachable. And that is for enabling to access the lamps. There are two temperature probes, both K-type thermocouples, one above and one is inside the sample mounting table. I'm going to close the chamber door. The system also requires uh, 60 PSI compressed air along with uh, nitrogen. This meter indicates the temperature from the thermocouple which is on the top of the sample surface. And this indicates the actual process temperature. And In order to read the program, press enter key and right now it shows the step 0 is uh, set for 20 minutes and temperature at 20 degrees Celsius and that's step 2, it is 0, 01 and set, set for 1 minute and 30 seconds. Step 3, 4, and here we want to change the temperature. We can change it by entering the temperature value and pressing enter. And while it is blinking here, on the step number, pressing function key enables the, the controller inputs and output functions. And the functions enabled are displayed by the seven segment display here. 
and the seven segment displays are the A1 which is the central the LED in the center denotes heater on and then oh, I'm sorry <laughs> stop it. You're pressing reset key um, always uh, disables the running program and takes to the first step and when the step LEDs are blinking, press function key and the, the seven segments are indicated by these uh, dash, dash lines here and to enable or disable a segment we have to press zero and H stands for heating and so in the first step, that is step zero, only heating is possible. And pressing enter takes to the next step. And the second step enables C, and which is indicated by the seven segment display. The dash in the middle indicates A1 for the flow meter 1, which is this meter, and A2 is indicated by this for the flow meter 2, and A4 is output 4, in this system it is not enabled, A3 is output 3, which is vacuum, that is, that enables the vacuum valve to evacuate the chamber and A5 is output 5, A6 is output 6. Output 6 is for rapid cooling in this system and H and C which is indicated on the display here. C stands for cooling and H for heating. Only in step 0 we can enable H and in, when the cursor is blinking at the first position and press enter to go to the third position here the segment 1 which is A1 is enabled in the third position and in fourth position A2 is enabled And in this position, 3, that is output 3, stand for vacuum. And A4, A5, and A6, it stand for rapid cooling. Um, Let's start with reading this program and step 0 is 20 degrees, enable for 10 minutes. Step 1 is a minute and 30 seconds, temperature set point 20 degrees Celsius. Step 2, I'm going to change it to 2 minutes and 10 seconds, press enter 20 degrees. And step 3 is one minute. Step four is for about five minutes and 200 degrees. And step five is 250 degrees. And step six is 200. I'm going to change it to 100 degrees. And step seven is 60 degrees. So once the program is entered, press reset and pressing start. The first step in the program is enabled. At this point,
the chamber is, is being evacuated. The chamber roughing goes, once it goes below one milli bar, the turbo pump takes over. The vacuum level is 1.3 to 10 to the minus 9 millibar here. Uh, I only left uh, 10 minutes to evacuate at this range. And by increasing the time for the step zero, uh, the the vacuum level goes way into lower 10 to the minus 5 millibar range. Uh, this display unit is not connected and are not used. I do. It is similar to the temperature indicator here. And the start key starts the program and at any point of time it's desired to hold the system, pressing the H key now stops running the process and advancing it to the next step. The actual key displays the actual temperature here and the set point displays the set point temperature and the deviation displays deviation is the dis the difference between the actual and set point temperature values. And the blue key here, the function key, is useful at the time of programming. And the reset key to interrupt the program or reset the system. And the output on-off key, which is zero, is used for at the time of programming while this uh, and the, and the step each step is being programmed we have to press function key and the outputs one to seven can be enabled or disabled using this output on of key and enter key is used to advance to the next step while programming or next output while enabling and disabling the inputs and outputs. The first flow meter, flow meter 1 is 660 liters per hour and the second flow meter is 350 liters per hour and right now only flow meter 1 is enabled. Uh, this is step 01. At this point, the chamber is being purged using the gas, flow meter one, and the gas is connected from the cylinder to the chamber at this moment. These two switches here, one is for reset, the bottom one is for enabling and disabling the buzzer. So during an alarm condition or at the end of the recipe, the buzzer starts on. You can disable it by selecting buzzer off. We can enable it by selecting buzzer on. Uh, buzzer off is when the switch is on. Right now, the step zero 02 where the chamber is evacuated, it will be evacuated for about two minutes. And no change in the temperature set point.
Okay, this is step four. And the temperature set point is 200, and the actual temperature is 18 degrees. And we can see the, the lamps are on. And the lamps are going to heat the chamber. The temperature is increasing. But right now, it's increasing at a slower rate because the time set for the step four is five minutes. So it'll take another four and a half minutes for this to reach the set point temperature. The maximum rate at which uh, the, the temperature can be increased or ramped up is 300 degrees per minute. So in other words, you can set a time of one minute and the, for the time and for temperature you can go up to 300 uh, if you want to increase the heat rapidly. And once Once you set the time and temperature, during that step, the, re the, the final temperature will be the, the set temperature. So in this step, the initial temperature was 20 degrees, and now it's going to reach 200 in this time of five minutes. So right now it is in step five and the set point here is 250 so in a minute and a half the set temperature will be 250 so it's going to ramp up to 250 in about a minute and a half the heater lamps are still on So during this step, the gas flow meter one is enabled, and you can set the desired flow. So about to reach the final temperature set point, 250 degrees. So in step six, the set point is 100 degrees, and it's going to slowly ramp down the set. In this step. Both uh, flow meter one and two are enabled. Right now the lamps are turned off and The 
and nitrogen gas is flowing through the chamber. The number of process steps can be increased or decreased depending on the desired programming, uh, the temperature profile. In other words, all the nine steps need not be used. You can program it for six steps or five steps. In this step seven, I set the time as two minutes and the set point for the temperature is 60 degrees and it is cooling down to 60 degrees from the initial temperature of 100 degrees. And flow meter two is enabled in this mode and flow meter one is not enabled. I have one more step to bring it down to 20 degrees Celsius once it is below 60 degrees, uh, we can also open the chamber if we need to. Yeah, this is the step eight, it's uh, 25 degrees, and in a minute it should go to 25 minute degrees Celsius. So in this step I have enabled the rapid cooling too, so it's being cooled pretty fast. We use this compressed air to when your output 6 is enabled, that is maximum cooling. During the cool cycle, both or either one of the flow meters can be enabled. That's the buzzer. We are at 42 degrees, 48 degrees Celsius, and let's see inside the chamber how it looks like. Fortunately, I don't have a sample to run. Yep. Degrees. The maximum set point in this machine can be set at 450 degrees. Um, we took it. Uh, let's see. We took the value. If we try to, let's see, load 460, yep, the system won't accept it. So the system can take maximum a 450 degrees Celsius set point. This is the manual for this solder reflow oven, SRO702. That will be included with this machine. And the system will include the mechanical pump and the turbo pump. But the chiller is not included with this machine. This system only includes mechanical pump only. It's 
children will not be included in the decision.